Now let's look at key quotes relating to the character of Antonio. Now bear in mind that he is one of the main characters of the play, indeed the play itself, Merchant of Venice, is centered around him because he is the Merchant of Venice. He is the person whom all of the events begin because he's the one out of his generosity towards his friend Bassanio. He decides to generously ask and let Bassanio go out, take money, the 3,000 ducats that he needs for a loan in order to gain Portia's hand in marriage. So on the one hand, Antonio, whom the title is named after, whilst he is presented as really generous and loyal as an individual, particularly to his friend Bassanio, in fact, maybe generous to a fault because this is not going to be the first loan that he gives over to his friend. And even if he knows that his friend is not very good with money, so it seems really, really excessively generous. On the other hand, he is also presented as very melancholic at the beginning. In other words, when I say melancholic, I mean sad. He seems somewhat really fatalistic, very down, a little bit moody, a little bit depressed. However, we also find that he can be very prejudiced towards outsiders like Shylock. So he's also anti-Semitic. When I say anti-Semitic, I mean people who dislike Jewish people and we can see this through his treatment of Shylock and even at the end of the play when uh, the tables are turned and Shylock is now at his mercy even if we see him sparing half of Shylock's wealth he's still quite harsh in forcing Shylock to convert to Christianity okay so there's two sides to Antonio's character now as you can see behind me essentially I've prepared the key quotations especially when you are very short on time to really memorize when it comes to Antonio's characters we're going to go over each quotation what works level analysis to do and of course when it comes to both structure so sentence types interesting punctuation but also when it comes to language so things like alliteration metaphors similes and so on okay now the first quotation to remember when it comes to Antonio's character is right at the beginning in act one scene one when we meet him and we can see that he's really sad very melancholic almost fatalistic he feels almost like he doesn't really have control over his fate he says in sooth I know not why I am so sad now here this is really interesting because it seems like he finds his own melancholy a mystery. And when I say melancholy, I mean sadness. Now, the analysis and the word level analysis you want to do here, firstly, you want to focus on structure. Here you can look at caesura, okay? So caesura is the midline pause. But also separately, you've got sibilance here of S, so it's so sad, and even you can add sooth for your sibilance. Finally, bear in mind that this whole sentence is written in what is called iambic pentameter. Now, if you're not entirely clear on what iambic pentameter means, iambic pentameter is simply a line or a particular line in a verse which has 10 syllables, one syllable stressed, one syllable unstressed, one syllable stressed, one syllable unstressed, 10 times. I will go over what iambic pentameter means, so do make sure you check out that video where I explain and I illustrate to you really the easiest way to remember iambic pentameter. It sounds way more complicated than it is, it's actually very straightforward to remember, okay? So that's the first quotation to remember when it comes to Antonio's character. The second quotation for his character is when he, we can now see his real anti-Semitism coming through, when both him and Bassanio are getting money from from Shylock. However, Shylock is basically showing that his money lending practices, they can, we, can, we can also find it in the Bible, right? It can also be biblical. However, Antonio is still really rude to him and he describes him as a devil. He's basically stating the devil can cite scripture for his purpose. In other words, even the devil can use scripture to try and justify his actions. And of course, this shows just how much Shylock, or rather Antonio dislikes Shylock simply because he's Jewish. He's, he's damned if he does, he's damned if he doesn't. Okay, so this is now the darker anti-semitism coming through and of course this is one of the reasons why this play is so controversial because of course it is depicting a hatred towards a different group just because they belong to a different uh, category and that's not really fair on someone like Shylock. Now, going back to this quotation, which of course shows just how Antonio despises Shylock and doesn't trust him, he, he uses the metaphor devil to describe Shylock, okay? So saying the devil can cite scripture for his purpose. And of course, this is what we call a declarative sentence. A declarative sentence meaning a sentence that states a fact, feeling or mood. And here, Antonio is essentially stating as fact that even a horrible person like Shylock can use scripture, the Bible, to justify his actions. The other quotation that illustrates just how Antonio really dislikes Shylock is when he says, an evil soul producing holy witness. Now here, what you want to focus on is oxymoron, evil and holy. Again here, he's depicting Shylock as really evil, even if he knows the Bible.
The other quotation for Antonio to remember is when he states, now this is when uh, he realizes he's bankrupt or his ships have completely been sunk and he realizes he's going to have to give a, a pound of his flesh to Shylock. Now of course Shylock is really delighted at this because he's now going to get the ultimate form of betrayal. If he does take Antonio's pound of flesh, he's going to kill him. Now Antonio tries now to maybe uh, reason with him. He says, hem yet, good Shylock. Now of course here we can say that he's being a little bit manipulative, right? He was calling him a devil, you know, just a few scenes ago, but now because things have changed, he's now trying to be really kind and reasoning with Shylock, which maybe this is how he should have been the whole time when he's dealing with Shylock. Now going back to this quotation, the word love and lessons you want to do is of course the adjective good to describe Shylock, which is the opposite of evil earlier on when he called him, when he called Shylock evil. Then also you want to think about Caesura here. Again, here we can see Antonio is really nervous. The other uh, uh, quotation to remember when it comes to Antonio's character is when once he realizes actually Shylock is dead set on taking a pound of his flesh and he's going to die, he then gives up and he says, I'll follow him no more with bootless prayers. Now here basically he's saying, I'm done. I've tried to speak to Shylock. He, he basically wants to kill me. I can't really do anything about it. Now he shows this through the personification bootless prayers. Of course, hair prayers are personified as not having any boots, basically being inept, uh, not being able to be effective anymore. The other quotation to bear in mind with Antonio's character is when he seems, again, remember, as I mentioned here in Sooth, I don't know what I am so sad. He's melancholic, very fatalistic. He doesn't really have control over his fate. This show, this melancholy and this fatalism especially comes through when he states and when he realizes, okay, I'll, I've just accepted I'm going to die. And he states, I am a tainted weather of the flock. Now, weather here, he's basically saying, I'm a very weak, I'm the weakest sheep in the entire flock, right? Weather is a small, young sheep. Now here, of course, he's speaking in a metaphor, basically saying that it's, it's basically my fate to die, okay? And of course, this shows Antonio's very fatalistic attitude. So he almost feels like he has no control over his fate, no control over his future, and no control ultimately over the way he dies at Shylock's hands. The other quotation to bear in mind for his character is when Bassanio is there and Bassanio is really upset because of course if he hadn't given this loan over Antonio wouldn't be in this bind. Now Antonio however of course now here we can see his loyalty to his friend he says grieve not that I am fallen to this for you. Here basically he's saying Bassanio I still am your friend don't worry don't feel bad that you know I'm gonna die because of giving you the money because I'm happy even if I die I'm happy in the knowledge that you know you were able to win Portia's hand you were able to find happiness in marriage okay so of course that seems almost very too self-sacrificial now the word love analysis here which obviously shows his loyalty to Bassanio even to the end is uh the alliteration of f in fallen four and of course this is an imperative sentence bear in mind imperative sentence means a sentence that issues a command okay so here he's telling Bassanio grieve not so he's telling him don't grieve don't feel bad the other quotation to bear in mind with Antonio's character is when he now again things change Balthazar shows up he picks all these holes in the contract that Shylock and Antonio have and then it realizes and then you know they all realize that actually Shylock is on the wrong he's now actually committed a crime by asking for Antonio's uh, flesh and now, essentially, Shylock might face the punishment of losing all of his money. However, Antonio seemingly shows some kind of mercy by basically saying, actually, instead of Shylock having to give up all of his wealth, he can give up half of his wealth, which goes to Jessica, his daughter, and Lorenzo, her husband. His second condition, Antonio's second condition, is he presently become a Christian. In other words, he's basically saying, oh, and Shylock, you're not allowed to be a Jew anymore. You have to convert into being a Christian. And of course, again, this is really anti-Semitic. This is why a lot of people take issue and have some problems, especially a modern reading, with this play. Now here, the word level analysis you want to do, which shows obviously Antonio's anti-Semitism, is uh, the assonance of E in he presently became. Now the next quotation to bear in mind with Antonio's character is when he states, my Lord Bassanio, let him have the ring. Now this is when uh, both Antonio and Bassanio basically go up to Balthazar, who they've never met before, the lawyer that basically successfully saves Antonio's life, and they basically say, you know, what gift can we give you? Uh, Balthazar then asks for Bassanio's ring and Bassanio says no I can't give you that ring that is a token of love from Portia however Antonio convinces him he says how can you refuse to give this man a, your ring he saved my life okay and so of course he speaks convincingly to Bassanio and this is what leads Bassanio to give the ring to Balthazar which Portia had given to him now the word level analysis you want to do here is alliteration of H and him have this is Antonio trying to and what this shows is Antonio being very passionate in convincing 
in seeing Bisogno, you have to give over your ring because he saved my life. Also, you want to focus on Cesura here, okay, after uh, Bisogno. This is Antonio kind of trying to show Bisogno the gravity of the situation and the gravity and the importance of what Balthazar did for him. And that's obviously what leads Bisogno to give away his ring, even if he promised Portia that he wouldn't. Now, the final quotation when it comes to Antonio's character is at the end of the play when he gets the letter which is given over by Portia that all of his ships actually are fine after all and he's not lost any of his money so he's really happy and he says my sweet lady you have given me life and living and don't forget of course not only does Portia deliver that letter which has the good news he also realizes that Portia is Balthazar so she saved his life at court okay now the this whole sentence is hyperbole over exaggeration in other words he he literally can't believe just how lucky he was that Portia did everything in order to save his life and of course in final word love analysis to do for this is alliteration of life and living. In this instance we can see that Antonio, contrary to him at the beginning where he was really melancholic, now he's really happy, he's very thankful and he almost has a new lease on life. So that's it when it comes to Antonio's character, especially the key quotations to remember and to revise for when revising and writing about his character in your assessments or exams.